Let's have a look into how we can change the page size in Power BI because not every report needs to look the same. I can show you these examples. They all have a different page size and it's really easy to do this in Power BI. And why do I do this? I like to tailor my reports to the end user and sometimes a certain page size works better for them or the report that I'm creating. So let's have a look into Power BI and I'm showing you how you can change the page size. I've Power BI opened here and I will open the format pane and you see I have nothing selected. This is just an empty page. And if I open the format pane and I go to canvas settings, there you see standard the type 16 by nine. And that's what you're seeing here. And this works for standard reports. If you want something else, you can just click here and then say, I want a different design. So four by three, it's a little bit smaller. Letter, which is this A4 style. Uh, I use this a lot for infographics that I'm designing. We have the tooltip, and that's really tiny if you look at it. Uh, why is it that small? This is the page size I would use if I'm designing like a tooltip page, I would hide that and then it pops up as a tooltip. Let's go back to 69 and I show you, if I click now on custom, I have the, the sizing here and now I can just write down whatever I want. So I could make this a little bit wider or longer. And some bonus tip here, if you open a new page, it will go back to the 16 by nine type. But if you go to your old page and you say duplicate, it will be in the same canvas setting size that you've created before. So what I'm doing when I'm creating reports is I first uh, think about this page size and then I make a copy of it, which I reuse all the time. And another tip, if we go into like a report I've created like these, you see they all have different page sizes. Like this is the 69, this is custom, and I made it a little wider than A4. Uh, and then we have here another custom one, which I wanted to be really compact. Now, this is important to know. When you're designing something, also make sure you go to view and then page view. And here you have three options, fit to page, fit to width, actual size. If you click on actual size, you see my infographic is kind of huge. If I go to fit to width, it makes it as wide as my visual is, but really hard to read now. And if I go to fit to page, it will fit my report on one page. You need to make sure to decide how you want your report to look like because when you publish it to the Power BI service, it will remember what you selected here. So if you choose Excel size and you publish it like that, someone's opening the report in Power BI online, they will see it like this, which is kind of not the experience I want my end user to have. So I make sure that I always have this fit to page selected. I will put the height and width of my three examples in the description so you can have a look if you want to recreate this. Let me know how you like this. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this.